Hi, if you ever need to download more than one image from a web page, then you know that this can take a bit of a time, especially when you want high resolution images or something. So sometimes it can be really handy to have a, a Chrome extension or another tool to help you filter and sort and download all the images you want from a web page in just one go. Well, luckily for you, such a tool exists, and today I'm going to talk you through this tool. My name is Olaf and I am your tool finder. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Chrome extension that is called Fetcum or Fetcum. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's say Fetcum. Well, first of all, why did I need this tool in the first place? Well, as you maybe know, I told you before, I have a sneaker comparison website, actually a couple of those. And uh, at first, when I did not have the automatic import functionality, I needed to download heaps of sneaker images every day. Um, even after doing all these things uh, automatically, I still needed good high resolution images for blog articles uh, to, to have my writers write these blogs or I would just mail them with the, let's say the assignment and the accompanying images in one go. And the third reason is that for Shopify, um, that doesn't work, or at least I don't work with automatic imports, uh, you need also a lot of images alongside your listing. So when you add a listing, you uh, let's say you have a new product, you need a couple of images and you rip those images off some other web page to accompany your uh, text. So those were the three reasons I needed something like Fatcon. Well, what is it? It is a Chrome extension, as I said, and I will show you later what it looks like and how it works. But you can download all the images from a web page on one tab in Chrome or even all the tabs if you want. And so this can save you a lot of time. And with one click, you can download all the images that you like and the images that you like you can so you can determine by filtering or selecting images and after that you can even say okay i want to filter let's say all the images that are more than 800 pixels wide that have the term sneaker in uh, their title and i want to download them in a specific folder which is really awesome so what are the features of Fatcon? Well, as said, you can filter, you can sort, you can select and you can drag as well if you want. It can convert WebP, which is a new format for, uh, especially the, the, the bigger companies like uh, Nike, Adidas, they all use the WebP images to convert it to JPG or PNG, which is also very nice. You can output your uh, downloads into a specified folder. And there's an option to right click on an image whenever you are on a web page and you want to use Fatcon, you just right click and you select Fatcon and it will run. And you can have the feature enabled where it removes duplicates so you can't mess it up at all. Here you see some of those settings as I just said and uh, well actually it's uh, set and forget because after doing this once and actually I never touched this um, in the first place because the settings as they are are already as I want them but if you want you can change the stuff inside here. So what are the benefits? Well to sum it up it's, it's a huge time saver especially when you download a lot of images and of course I understand that not everybody does this but if you are in this field and you need to download lots of images this can save you a lot of time. Furthermore, it's very easy to use. There are a lot of clever options as we just saw to filter and sort. And it's in general a huge time saver. For, uh, last but not least, of course, it's free to add to your Chrome browser. So that is always nice. And if we take a look at the reviews, well, actually those, they, these two are the, uh, more or less the same. There are not a lot of start reviews, so I just took this one, but as you can see with over uh, 300,000 users and uh, 2,473 reviews at the moment with a 4.3 average, we can just say that this is very, um, it's a very good solid Chrome extension that has been around for a long time as well. 
So if you are in the habit of downloading a lot of images, then we can calculate for you how much time this would save you or how much money you would save actually by using Fatcon and, and or how much more money you could make by freeing up this time that you could spend on projects for clients. So let's go to this calculator. Here we are. And uh, I have the default set to, this is per month, by the way. So this is how much money you can make extra per month or how much money you can save per month. And let's see if we have like 20 images per month, which would be five per week, which is very uh, low, obviously. And we take a time per minute of two minutes to download it, to store it, to filter it, to search it. And a client fee or a rate per hour of uh, $60, then we would end up saving $20 every month, which then translates into $240 every year, obviously. And you might say, well, two minutes for downloading, it's a really, uh, it's, a, it's a lot and it's uh, too much, Olaf, uh, this cannot be true. Well, what are you saying? Well, take into account the following. You need the time to search the web page for all the images. Then you have to check somehow how big they are. So you have to filter them for a minimum size. Then you have to download them. Then you have to store them in the correct folder. So if you take this all into account, you easily end up uh, at two minutes at least per image saved. But okay, if you want, you can drop this down to one minute and maybe you have like uh, your internal fee is uh, 30 and still you would save $60 per year. But what if we take the default at two and you are a guy or girl who has, for example, 100 images that he or she downloads every month. So 100, uh, 100 per week, so 400 every month. Then it would really be interesting because if you then put this up to $60 because you work for clients, for example, it could save you $400 every month or you could earn more money by using this tool because it frees up your time to spend on other projects. So this is how this works, but let's just assume, well, in my case, it was something like um, 50 and this was 120 and this would be, I think one and a half in my case. So in my case, in those days that I downloaded a lot of images, for me, this would save me $75 every month, which is for a free Chrome extension, obviously uh, very nice and easy money. Yeah, you don't come by this type of money every day. It's just a free lunch. So this is how the calculator works. But obviously, as usual, we should go to the pudding itself to see how the tool works. And let me show you just that. So, for example, if we would go to Sneaker News, which is an affiliate website, by the way, and it has lots of nice images of sneakers on it, as you can see. And this is well, I really like this model, by the way, this Nike Air Force ugly sweater. Um, if you fire up Fatcoon by pressing this or by right clicking this Japanese Fatcoon, then it would end up like this. And to show you what it's like, first of all, this is the width and this is the height. These are in Dutch because I'm in Holland. Uh, so. Uh, in your case, this would be width and height. And what you can do is easily, well, change this width into a minimum of, I want, let's say 800, around 800, something like this. The height, I don't care, but the width is very important for my blog and for my website. And after this, I can just, uh, well, remodel them and, and use Airfun view, for example, to bulk resize them to the correct sizes. And if you want, you can sort it by the biggest first. And as you can see, these two are then, uh, well, falling off because those are not the correct ones, but I can even narrow it down more because I know these images have the term air force in them. I just 
type in force and as you can see now all the images are what I would like them to be and if I would click on it and I would say download you can easily download this and download images and it will download all the images as you can see here below into my folder and in my case I've just set it to the standard folder and here they are all right so this is how this works here you can see that those are really the 1140 by 1140 sneakers that I just downloaded this is 1140 by 800 1140 by 1140 so this is how that works in short well I hope you liked this video and I see you again soon.